Hi, this is Mikey D, and I just want to go through a quick little tip to organize your Steam library. Given the advent of Steam OS and Linux gaming in general rapidly uh, ramping up, with I believe it's over 300 titles now, the majority of us, you know, some of us still do dual booting into Windows, and I'm sure you have tons of games. I myself, I only have a total of 127. I guess for some that's quote unquote only, uh, but some have hundreds, hundreds of games. So most people stick to the favorites list here, so you can add anything to your favorites and the rest will fall into your, your games category. But however, as Linux gaming ramps up and if you make use of SteamOS and big picture mode up here, you're going to have the tiles that it presents can be daunting. Now, if you do hold the, the joystick over, it will scroll over and letters will show as to what, what the first letter of the game is. But if you want to have pre-built lists, um, it's pretty simple, but it just takes a um, quick little um, how-to as far as doing that for some. So I'm just going to uh, choose one of these games. Uh, well, even though it's in my favorites, I'll work with Dust and Elysian Tail here. So if it's in your favorites list here, or even in your game or your games list, the most important one being in the favorites, you'll need this little trick here. So right-click the game here and go to set category. Now I already have this category platformer here already made, but if you want, you would enter a new one like platformer two and hit add category. So once you do that, it'll automatically put a check marks in next to that category that you just set. So after you do so, you can hit OK, but it's also important to note that you cannot have more than one category set. So with Platformer set, we'll hit OK. Now you'll notice that Dust did not move into that category. The thing you want to do is right click the actual title again. You'll notice that it says remove from favorites and also remove from platformer. It can only be in one at a time, and because it was already in favorites, we need to hit remove from favorites. So as soon as I do that, it will jump down into the platformer list. You can make as many lists as you want, and you can collapse them all so that they're easy to see. So the next time when you jump into big picture mode or SteamOS, you'll have all these pre-made categories. Now I know SteamOS does have one for Linux games and one for Windows, but this will give you an overall global list you can refer to. I am keeping it mainly for my Linux games right now, not mixing in Windows, uh, but I'm sure you could uh, make that however you want. And it's nice to have a little category here. Uh, I made one called What I Am Currently Playing, and only one I have in there so far is Metro Last Light. So this is a quick tip on organizing your Steam library. This is Mikey D, and I hope you enjoyed the video.